Hey, what's up you guys? My name's Tyler Ruggie, and for today's video, we are going to be feeding all of my tarantulas. I have seven tarantulas. One of them is full grown, the other ones are still slings, but I have tarantulas of all different sizes. So I thought it'd be really cool to make a video just showing you guys what I feed all of them and what it looks like when all of them eat. So if you guys don't like tarantulas, then I would recommend not watching this video. This is your warning. There's a lot of spiders in this video, but they are really cool and they're really pretty. So if you're not too freaked out by them, I would recommend still trying to watch it because I think they're super cool and you might still enjoy watching it. They're really fascinating and it's really cool to watch them eat their food. So yeah, I'm just gonna be showing you guys my tarantulas eating basically. So without further ado, let's just get straight into it. Let's watch me feed all of my tarantulas. Hello friends. Okay, so for all of my slings, I feed all of my tarantulas basically dubia roaches because in my opinion, they're one of the most nutritious feeders. You can feed any, like anything, but sometimes like my bigger tarantula, I'll feed superworms once in a while, but I usually do roaches. So obviously roaches come in all different sizes. So these are the small roaches that I'm going to be feeding my small tarantulas and what I do is I squish their heads, which sounds kind of f***ed up, but I squish their heads <laughs> and it makes it so they're like pretty much dying, but they're, they still like wiggle around a little bit, so they still move, but they can't just run away and burrow into the ground, which is ideal. So yeah, let's just get straight into it. I'm going to start by feeding my smaller tarantulas first, and we're going to work our way up to the bigger ones. Let's do it. Um, so... We're gonna start, ooh, he's on the lid. Wow, an adventurous boy. Hello. This is the Brazilian red and white. I'm just gonna get him to like go back into his area. There he goes, oh. And I'm just gonna feed him one of these. So he should just go to eat it right away. There he goes. That was it, wasn't that exciting, wow. Amazing. Oh, look, it looks like he molted too. That's kind of cool. This is the molt he molted. So that's what it looks like pretty much. Cool. Amazing. Mova. Next, we have the Brazilian black, a very small boy still. Are you going to go for it? Oh, he says, no, I'm going to run. Oh, there he goes. Okay, so this one is my Mexican red knee tarantula, who is actually a lot bigger than he used to be when I first got him. Eat it. Will you eat it, please? Please eat. Oh. He's like, no, I'm not hungry. Oh, there he goes. Yes, a hungry boy. And once again, he molted. Here's his molt. Not for you, Nova. Next, we have my pumpkin patch tarantula. Once again, it looks like he is molted. And I don't know if I'll be able to get him to eat it, but come out, come out. I want to try to get him out. Come on. I wish you guys could actually see him better, but he wants to hide, but they look really cool. I'll put a picture on the screen of what they look like. He's hard to see right now because he made a weird burrow. So next we are moving on to my arboreal tarantulas. Arboreal tarantulas means that they live like higher ups. They live in vertical containers. This one is my Venezuelan sun tiger, who we might not be able to see because it actually likes to burrow down underneath. However, it does look like it molted as well. So I'm gonna pull the molt out. You guys might be able to kinda get an idea. It doesn't really, you know, 
show what it looks like very well, but that's pretty much how big he is. And then I'm just gonna put a roach in the web somewhere and he'll come out and get it whenever he wants to. So that, that is that. My Venezuelan sun tiger. And since you guys couldn't see them, I'll put a picture on the screen of what they look like, at least when they're full grown. They're really pretty. So next we have my P. metallica. So this is a Goody Sapphire Tarantula. It's getting bigger and it still hasn't developed its really bright blue colors yet. They become really pretty. Once again, I'll put a picture of what they look like. These guys are very, very venomous and you gotta really be careful that they don't get out. So I just kind of open the lid. Sometimes he has a web in there, doesn't have one today, but I just open the lid in the corner and I stick it right on the moss somewhere. I'll see if he wants to eat. Oh, please eat. That is for you. So if they don't eat right away, I just stick it in there. That's disgusting. <sighs> it's dangling in there by its guts. But yeah, I'm just gonna leave it like that, I guess. That works. And then whenever it wants, it'll just eat it. Fun. Rip. A shell of who we used to be. Last but not least. We have my Arizona blonde tarantula. This is my full grown tarantula. Her name is Sedona. I don't know if it's a boy or a girl, but, but we're just, its name is Sedona. That's all you need to know, okay? So yeah, I'm just gonna switch it up and feed this one a superworm. Ooh, you did not, you missed. It's not there, sweetie. You tried your best. There it goes. She was hungry. She consume. All right, guys, so that is it for feeding all of my tarantulas. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it, even if you hate tarantulas. Hopefully you found this at least a little bit interesting. I think tarantulas are really cool, so hopefully I can get you guys to enjoy them at least a little bit. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, because I post videos every week with all of my animals. And also I have a vlog channel where I post a bunch of other random content. So if you're interested in that, that will be linked down below as well, along with all my other social media links, and I will see you guys in my next video.